Mm. So how we found out about Minty's dyslexia was, it was a bit of an accident really. Yeah, because we, we had basically no idea at that start that um, there might be something sort of like dyslexia in, in our family. You know, I, I sort of, we started to piece things together slowly and then sort of this whole sort of world pretty much opened up from there. Everybody says that I'm a dreamer. Uh, my daughter was seeing a tutor. She started to mention a few things and, and, and the things that she was talking to, to, to Minty about. You know, she might be good at this, but she might struggle with this. And she was, the tutor said, oh yeah, you know, that's, that's a common sign with, with, with dyslexics. And, uh, and then I started thinking, there are other things <laughs> that I struggle with as well. It's like, oh my God. So it was a bit of, a, a bit of a, an awakening there and a bit, a bit of an emotional awakening, really. So I think, you know, I wanted to create a positive message. And um, so I started playing around with, all right, well, I know for a fact there's, there's lots of famous dyslexics, you know, like Albert Einstein and Picasso and Jamie Oliver and Richard Branson. So I thought, you know, they're, they're people that um, dyslexics need to, to see and to, and to know about. So, you know, I started, I sort of came up with that rough idea and I thought it'd be nice to sort of maybe have some, you know, they're all very famous and very successful in their, in their chosen fields, so musicians and painters, inventors and uh, entrepreneurs. So I thought it'd be nice to sort of somehow encapsulate all of that uh, and create something positive so that when, when you know, kids and, and adults come into this environment, they can sort of see that they're not you know, stupid. They're actually, there's, there's a lot of intelligent people that they can actually sort of become. <laughs>